lighthouses, structures that light the way for those lost at sea, or those just looking for a gentle reminder that home is not too far away. With modern day navigational equipment, such as GPS, it's hard to imagine what it would be like to be out on those waves, not knowing where you are. Sailors of the past fought back this fear because there's always hope. Hope that you will soon see the beacon of light that will let you know your journey has come to an end. Lighthouses have been used for centuries. They mark the land and warn sailors of dangers in the water to help ensure their safe passage. Lighthouses weren't always the tall structures that we know today. Originally, bonfires were used to mark ancient ports and waterways. Raising the fire high above the water improved visibility, so fires were often put on cliffs, hills, or on platforms. The first known lighthouse-like structure was the Lighthouse of Alexandria, which was built between 280 in 247 BC on the island of Pharos in Alexandria, Egypt. Other ancient lighthouses were built based on the Pharos' design, most notably the Tower of Hercules, which is still in use today. Dating from around the 13th century, El Castillo in Mexico guided Mayan seafarers through a dangerous reef passage. The first lighthouse on American shores was built in Boston Harbor on Little Brewster Island. Early modern lighthouses used whale oil with a wick for continuous burning. Whale oil was later replaced with vegetable oil, which was then replaced with lard oil, followed by kerosene. However, finding the right fuel was only half the battle. The light being produced had to be directed so that it could be more easily seen from far away. To this end, lenses were used. Early lighthouse lenses were developed by Winslow Lewis. These lenses featured a parabolic reflector in back and a parabolic lens in front. This was replaced in 1822 by the Fresnel lens, designed by French physicist Augustin Jean Fresnel. The Fresnel lens heavily improved on the previous design, directing 85% of the light horizontally as opposed to the 20% of the parabolic reflector system. The device consists of a panel with a circular lens at its center that is surrounded by smaller rings of prisms. Four of these panels surround the light so that when rotated, it will give out four flashes. The first lighthouse constructed on Michigan shores was the Fort Gratiot Light, built on Lake Huron in 1829. Since then, hundreds of other lighthouses have been built around the Great Lakes to help sailors travel and trade. More than 115 Great Lakes lighthouses stand today on Michigan's coastline, some still shining their guiding light others serving as museums to the rich coastal history. One local lighthouse is the Grand Haven Lighthouse. Originally constructed in 1839, it is now maintained by the Coast Guard. The grounds are open to the general public and it's a wonderful experience for the whole family. Lighthouses have left an important legacy on the history of Michigan and the Great Lakes shining the light of hope for sailors and travelers alike, and ensuring the safety of seafarers now and in the future.